Bing, bing, and we're live. Here we are. It is the Ken Beck Grumblets. It's a Thursday, and it's Matt and Sam. Uh, Matt, how are things going with you? Uh, very good. We just had the React um, mob and had a little difficulty at the end, but then you fixed it. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't an easy thing. So maybe no, it, it was. Uh, yeah. You know, but, but that's good. Um, also, I did a PR for the security uh, updates to the gems on uh, website one. Right. I, I had to modify one test to take out like a tiny bit of a expectation that I think might have to do something with the Hangouts having changed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, you know, I don't think it's major, but I didn't research it terribly well. Right. Anyway, yeah, I, we can. I it's pretty minor. Sure, sure. Yeah. But great, yeah. much, much appreciated for, for doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Lon. Working on a little bit, trying to do uh, some programming to get GitHub markup. Just see how that works. Uh -huh. Maybe get a little demo of it, but it, you know it's it's involved, so that's gonna take a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, feel free to just kick things around and, and yeah, so in research um, the designs for an idea in parallel and so on. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at that pull request for you. Anything, anything particular blocking you? Um, no, nothing blocking me. So um, looks good. All right, good stuff. Uh, so Lara is here, but her microphone is not working. Uh, but there, Lara, feel free to give us an update uh, in the chat there. Uh, and also Hassan has joined us. Hey, Hassan, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, everyone. Hey. I'm fine. Great to have you with us. Great to have you with us. We're just doing the, the, the our Scrum. Uh, we'll be able to vote on a story for you soon. I think Hassan's doing the AB102 course. Uh, Matt's just given his report. Uh, uh, work on different areas and uh, but no blockers. Uh, yeah, report from me. Yeah, I was doing the gosh, was it the the, the React mob with uh, with Matt? As Matt was saying, yeah, we we uh, got stuck at the end. But then I well, I couldn't let go of the banana in the story of the monkey and the uh, hollowed out coconut banana. If any of that means anything to anybody, uh, and I spent the following half an hour making it work. Um, actually, I then re re reviewed um, oh, Stephen Grider's course, and he just. Uh, does it within a single component? He doesn't actually do the um, up right. and down multiple components. So, anyway, something was something was learned that at least that I can't let go of coding problems. Anyway, uh, yes, other things. You know, I was out all morning. I saw two more uh, NHS stakeholders and identified other other interesting issues with the software. And um, yeah, there's a big list of things to work through and fix for tomorrow, which is the hard launch of the of the software. I mean, it's basically working, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, improvements there uh we've got the local support kickoff coming up i've got a meeting with the dre uh our sponsor corporate sponsor uh at the top of the hour um so yes not not blocked by anything just need to i need to make sure tomorrow morning is clear so i can work through all these remaining issues i mean the the, the biggest challenge with delivering on this energy wiki is that all the different environments in which people are using it particularly behind firewalls or on special laptops and so on that you know i can go out and sort of see the problems they're encountering i can try and make fixes for them but i can't you know i can't get back into those places easily to sort of test that the changes we make are um actually you know going to improve the usability of the system but there we go um so lara was updated lara's just been focusing on google maps learning because google maps are awesome we love them uh good stuff um hassan how are things going with you uh you're doing the ab102 course is everything going okay uh so far, yes, it's um, going smooth. I'm um, refreshing my memories, my knowledge from the previous uh, previous course. Yeah, right. And so far, so good. And also try to learn. Uh, I saw that uh, also one project, uh, Wiki Edu dashboard. Mm -hmm. It's also using the React, and I also try to uh, learn and. Uh, improve myself on it and yeah yep. i yep. just checked it out it's 
Try. Yeah, because that makes me think actually, I should probably just mention to the, the thing, uh, well, you, there you are in uh, that chat, I'll just welcome you there. And um, also say that here, um, if anyone wants more leveling up in React, we are doing uh, mobbing sessions on it. Cool. Um, and is there anything blocking you at the moment, Hassan, apart from the need to um, uh, get a vote done on your uh, for your assignment? Um, uh, until now, no. Um, it was all smooth, and after this um, story voting, uh, mm -hmm. I think I saw I need um, a pair, pair with uh, right. with somebody, and I think I to I have still time, and uh -huh. I will meet the de deadline. So great, excellent. So Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I must send the um, email for that AV102 course uh, because yeah, the MOOC is also going live um, on. Gosh, what is it? Next Tuesday. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, let's do a quick. Well, unless anybody else has any other business, let's do a quick vote for uh, for Hassan maybe on the local support project. I, I guess actually, what I might suggest. Is so we've got a local support kickoff coming up uh, next, and I guess I mean this is the there's a sort of challenge here. Well, one with all the the AB one and two students, we've been doing uh, voting on various stuff, all of this stuff which is the events uh, epic components, and that's been working out reasonably well. One of the challenges is the more that we vote on that, and if it doesn't involve the um, if it doesn't involve the, the the core team, that can be confusing. But hey. Uh, maybe let's just go for, uh, we've got uh, some simple refactoring tickets and people were asking about uh, doing some refactoring. So maybe uh, let's have a look at one of those. Um, I'll just put some tags around that. Here we go. Uh, so we've got this ticket. Let's, let's just sort of see if we can have a vote on it and maybe we can follow on in the, the next meeting. Uh, so I'm going to go into the local support channel uh, and use the slash voter command. Uh, and so this is uh, refactoring users and registration controllers. So refactoring, uh, just so you can see what I'm doing, I think uh, Lara and Matt know how to do this, but uh, if we use the voting command as a refactoring, uh, this is registration controllers. So we can generate a little vote thing here. Uh, I'll just pop that in there. So I'm going to invite you. I'm assuming that that is you, Hassan, there. I've invited you into the channel. Um, have I got the right Hassan there? Uh, it uh, must be someone else. It no, must be someone else. Ah, uh, OK. Uh, it's without the H, actually. Ah, OK. Hassan, yeah. Oops, I spoke too soon. Uh, oh gosh. A S with a single uh, with a single S. Yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, this one. Found you. Yes. There we go. Right. And uh, I guess I had, I, mean, I have to mention you again in order to Oh no. Oh, and my Slack slows down and kind of these silly past. Oh, here we go, and that's it. Welcome. There we go, and hopefully that. Oh no, maybe you are already in the channel. There we go. So, so let's just have a look at this story. So this is Elena has been working on uh, map list integration. Uh, this is for the local support project, Hassan, and uh, that's the project that supports the uh, Harrow community network. Uh, which is a directory of volunteering opportunities and organizations in Northwest London. And so we've got here refactoring users and registration controllers. And as it appears that some methods of registration and user controllers duplicate each other. Ah, okay. So it would be useful to review and refactor these controllers as well as to adjust existing test spaces to these changes. So I think this is probably one thing that um, a code climate thing has popped up. But let's have a, have a look at the little code base. Uh, so we've got root mine. 
So, um, yeah, uh, it's not so easy to see from from this that the code looks like we've got def admin of all super emails. Can't really read it without the indenting. Yes, that, that could be indenting now, like verify. Hmm. I'm just trying to say it. Hopefully, in the background, my room mine will have come up. Here it is. Come room mine. Yay! Right. Update message for admin status. Send email. I can certainly believe that there are uh, some similar code chunks in there. Let's. Uh... Oh, gosh, it's taking a while to load. Setting up a different project. File. This looks cool. Yeah. But so, uh, Hassan, you you said you're, you're you're taking the course for a second time. You've done the one six nine. You feel re reasonably comfortable with Rails these days? Um, yes. Um, with the refresher, it will be more uh, efficient. But yeah, I I know uh, how things goes around with the mm, Ruby. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, but I I need to uh, check some uh, topics on the Rails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay, so here we go. So, if we go and have a look in the controllers, we we're saying that it's the users. Oh, this magic trap had not quite as magic as it should be. Don't want the volume. So, the, the same the users controller. Oh, I wonder if this is I need to be on the oh. so I guess there's so what we will have here is oh gosh come on uh local support like maybe i will only see the details of these things if i look in the pull request that's it is um so i'll just maybe see if i can find my local support window and here and then git fetch or lena Come back over here. No, not there. There. Okay. So let's have a look at the pull requests. Um, and here we go. So Olena's she's been working on this integrating list with map. Okay. Here we go. You know, Sam. Mm -hmm. Probably fine, but I just thought I'd mention. Second. New Ruby Mine version. Oh, there's a nine, is there? Okay, I'm, cool. But it's not a. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. So now, interesting. I guess let's look. Oh, I can see these in two different ways. We've got let's split, let's split horizontally perhaps, and get the registrations controller down here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I guess yeah, she's identifying that there are like update message for admin status. So like this, we've got this update message for admin status. This is for the user's controller. Somebody you've, you've requested admin status for an org. And we've got the same thing here as well. Interesting. So that's definitely something to investigate. Yeah. It's an admin to super. Right. So I wonder if that both of these are actually being used or if they're overriding each other. So yeah, does, does, does it make sense then to everybody what um, the proposed refactoring would involve? Shall I take the silence to indicate that everybody's yes, that's totally obvious what, what, what's <laughs> yes. going on here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think how, what exactly we would do is unclear, but there is a question of what, why is this uh, duplicated? And if it's duplicated, you know, could it be, you know, that one or other isn't being used? We could delete one or it could be extracted. So, yeah. Um, so, I think there's a little bit of investigation required there. So, if we go to um, the uh, item here, yeah. So, we normally vote as it being one simple, two, two medium, three hard. Uh, and if we go back to our local support environment over here, uh, Ray's already voted. Uh, we've got a, a mystery backer. Um, I haven't put the link for the 
video in the channel, so um, please probably not further discussion in here. But so uh, yeah, simple being you know changes to the to the interface medium. You know it's going to touch the data the changes to the database schema, new gems, new this that and the other hard. Lots of changes, lots of crazy, 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 crazy stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and do my vote in private over over here on my other screen. Um, there we go, and I think we've got four votes. I uh, will just. I've also posted this as the video feed of us doing that, uh, pop that in the um, general channel as well. So I guess it certainly felt like everybody was ready to vote. Um, let me come back and reveal the votes. A great picture of uh, Matt there. This is not a picture of me, thank God. Uh, here we go, come on, look sport. Gosh, I computer slowing down. Let's do a reveal. On my screen, it's you. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay, so Lara and I have gone for simple. Ray and ah, uh, sorry, uh, Hassan. I, I I thought that you'd voted, and I uh, oh. did. You, did you had, had did you, what, what was your intended vote? Uh, I I'm going to click on the medium. Okay, all right. So uh, my apologies for I think I was confused by the numbers because because Ray's there. So we've got Ray, Matt, and Hassan going for um, medium, and Lara and myself going for simple. Um, uh, Laura, do you want to say in the text there why you thought it was simple? I guess I will type out my own one as well. Um, uh, I guess, yeah, um, uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, I think there we go. Laura and I kind of agreeing. Yeah, it's it's um, yeah. There's no DB changes, and I would say like even there's no additional um, yeah, no additional tests to write. There's just testing, you know, which parts of the code are, are running and in what circumstances. Um, do we want to Matt? Do you want to take the lead for why, why were you thinking medium rather than simple? Well, I guess I'm just, just in my nature. I'm still not. 100% confident on the automated testing and that so uh, I would want to also do it myself on the screen. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah, that that's that it, it doesn't add any difficulty really. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, although although you make a good point about I mean there's this there's this idea that if you've got you know your tests and they're covering everything and it's you know then you can just make changes. Um Gosh, some people don't know when to stop calling me, do they? Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, I want to be sure that there is test coverage. I mean, I know we're at ninety-six percent or something. yeah, the test coverage is pretty high. Yeah, so, yeah, you can but, assume it. But, but 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 if we think about it in terms of how we how we define simple, medium, and hard, like if we were adding a new feature that was just to like put some text somewhere on the screen, and we were going to write an exceptions test to check that it kind of goes there, like and you know, we might just be like writing a helper method that reformats that in a date fashion, and we have a test around that. Kind of by our definition, there is no, you know, new database stuff. There's no, you know, it's it's only our existing tester framework, our existing stuff, right? So if we call something like this medium, what does then, you know, we kind of, do you know what I mean? We kind of maybe lose. What does like? Uh, maybe we then we need to go to the Fibonacci scale and start to have like you know a, a, a level five and a level eight thing. Do you know what I mean? I think maybe the only thing different about this was it involves two different places, you know, and mm -hmm. that doesn't. I, I'm taking it back. I don't think that is a criteria that would make it go from simple to medium. Mm. You mm. know, it's it's just slightly different than what your example, right? Right. I, I, yeah, I mean, it's. I, I guess it's kind of, and yeah, I mean, I, I, the, it, it, we could say it's sort of borderline. I guess the the thing to do now is kind of arrive at some, you know, value. So I guess uh, to ask and um, Hassan, how, how do you feel having heard the arguments for and against? Do you, do you think you want to stick with medium or, or switch to simple? Um, actually, to yeah, to. I'm outside at the moment because I didn't uh, fully check um, the code base. Mm. But uh, so I thought that it will take some time 
and that's why I mean the looking the the methods are they like doing the separate things really mm -hmm. by only looking the tests uh -huh. maybe I couldn't figure out all the the process mm. that's why it's medium sure but, uh, yeah but yeah, that, and and now that that was that was why you chose medium now that you've heard Matt and myself and Lara discussing it does that change your mind does your your feeling is still the same um, actually it could be simple yeah i i change my mind to simple because yeah the it's it's reasonable uh, that the, without the database change as uh, lara uh, mentioned it mm. will be uh, easier uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah all right well so and i guess then if if matt that that, that may, maybe leans me towards um, shall we call it simple and see and we'll see yeah 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 so let's put that in as a one and that's uh, that's done yeah and that because because uh, Liam Zong and his pair were asking about um, refactoring tickets to vote on or I was encouraging them to find refactoring tickets well that's our vote that's us the, the, the scrum and then the vote um, I guess we're over time on the local sport kickoff I will maybe start another meeting in a couple of minutes for local sport kickoff I think, uh, and Hassan, hopefully you now have all the things that you need for your assignment. Uh, the video link and the link to the Pivotal Tracker story are both in the local support channel. So um, there we go, that's how we do that. Thank you very much. It was great to be here and it wasn't, yeah, that's uh, scary at all. Yeah, thank you very much. Fantastic. Thanks. Nice one. All right, uh, good stuff, guys. I will catch up with you later on. Bye for now. Bye. Goodbye.